Hey guys, welcome to what's new in Reaper 7.10. In this update, we're looking at things like the new envelope window and envelope manager redesigned to make it easier to use and uh, less intimidating. There's also some changes to track lanes, parameter modulation, automation, stuff like that. Oh, and by the way, I have been sick for the past week and I'm still a little crusty, musty, dusty. So we're gonna have the camera off for the rest of the video. <coughs> envelope window. Redesign window using a list view to list envelope parameters, etc. Add combo box for filtering active envelopes, last touch effects parameters, etc. Filter now supports matching arm visible active UI mod and learn support setting modulation for take effects. All right, so what's all that about? That's this new button when you click on the, you know, the, the trim read or the, the automation mode button, it brings up a window and this is a brand new window. Um, I'm gonna have a screenshot of the previous window, which uh, would by default display every parameter for every effect in a big list. And there's just a massive um, window of, of, uh, of buttons to go through. And it's, it's basically impossible to like, at a glance, find what you're looking for without using the filter. And now the only thing that's expanded by default is the track envelopes. And there's only a few of those, any, effects parameters are going to be hidden by this little combo box here. As I expand that box, you can see all of the effects parameters for the selected effect. And um, and you can even use the, the keyboard, I'm pressing left and right um, to expand that menu. And so active, visible, armed, has it been touched? Has it been learned? Uh, can we assign parameter modulation to it? If I click on this, then the parameter modulation window pops up. So pretty cool stuff. And then clicking away, we'll close that window. We can set the, the track for the different automation modes. This is all the same function functionality, a better interface, and just much easier to use. Yeah, so let's say we're looking for the reverb volume. So if I type in verb, we can see that there in this plugin, there are three verb volumes, and that's that's in this uh, this sampler that I that I made up uh, a few weeks, a few months ago. Uh, it's free. You can find it on the website. That's the envelope manager that pops up when you click on the envelope mode button for the track, and it, it hides when you click away. Envelope manager. Add dockable envelope manager to complement track slash take envelope window. Support editing all selected tracks, selected active takes. So in addition to the, the track uh, envelope button and also similar thing for take envelopes, if we go to the view menu, we also have the envelope manager. And this is very similar, uh, but this is actually a dockable window. And so we can embed this into part of the Reaper's UI. And again, if we right click, there are some other options for default all effects parameters expanded, all effects collapsed. You can even set a default filter. So if you search, if you type something in here, you can have that always stay there, uh, which is, you know, pretty cool. So if I select the decent sampler track, um, you see the, the effects parameters are there. And if I go to, let's say the synth track, you can see different sets of parameters based on what I'm clicking. I don't have to click on the button for each individual track. You can kind of have one manager for the entire project. If there are multiple tracks selected and the effects parameters are the same across the different tracks, so these guitar one and guitar two here, they both have the same effects basically. If I select both in the envelope manager, we do see the, uh, the, the plugin parameters that are the same. For fixed item lanes, add action to explicitly make all lanes big or small. Add actions to explicitly show one or all lanes. Preference to add whole recording when auto punch recording into a fixed lane track applies regardless of whether comping is enabled. Track setting to record into first available lane does what it says, even if there's an earlier recording below the new recording. Add option via options menu or action for razor edits on small fixed lane tracks to affect all lanes. All right, so we're gonna come over to this track that has a few different lanes. This track is in the fixed lane mode. And if you forget what that is, uh, go back to the Reaper 7 What's New video. And now things have changed since then. You probably need to catch up on some of the other videos, but fixed item lanes is enabled here, which 
is uh, sort of like different, uh, kind of like different playlists for this. Is these are recordings done at different times. Some of these are months ago, and some of these were from today. This top lane is my comp lane, which is starting out with just this full recording on lane three. So let's say I want to fix part of this. Uh, this section here doesn't sound so great. Uh, let's, uh, let's play this section here. That part there, I think I could probably play it a bit better. And so one of the new functions, um, well, it's, it's sort of like a reworking of something that was added earlier. Um, you can see how there, there's no audio in this section here. On lane two, there's an empty gap. It's being used um, later on in the track, but right here is an empty spot. And so if we record and we have this function called recording, record into first available lane, it's expected that this empty area will be used rather than creating a new lane every single time. When that function was first added, it only worked when there were empty lanes uh, kind of below the last used lane and uh, the ones in the middle weren't used. Well, we're gonna demo that. So I just did a loop recording in Time Selection Auto Punch into a comp lane using the first available lane within the available lanes. And it also added new lanes when I recorded multiple times. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But as you can see, it did use the first available lane here. Lane two uh, was filled in where it was empty before. And because I recorded multiple times in a loop, it added in multiple lanes as well. I don't know if any of those were good. And so what we're seeing here, if we play this back, we've got the main song here, and then it jumps down to the last take, and then back up to uh, the original take. And that one's not so good, and we'll just click this one. I don't want to spend a lot of time on actually comping this right now. The main thing that I wanted to show you was that, yeah, the, these empty spaces, it will record into. So I believe these are some of the new actions uh, in the action list for track lanes. Track properties make fixed item lanes big. And I think they are big already. And then small, there we go, small. There was a toggle uh, somewhere. Oh yeah, there's this toggle here, clicking the button. But you can set it to one specific size if you want, either big or small. And so the last thing we'll look at for lanes, if we go to the options menu and go to razor edits, razor edits in small fixed lane tracks affect all lanes. So when the tracks are small like this, so small size, if we make a razor edit, it is applying to this entire column of, of takes, of, uh, of lanes, of playlists, whatever you want to call it. It depends on if you want to take all of those takes, if you want to make a razor edit to all the takes or not. Um, and again, that's in this menu here. So yeah, you can make selections for the entire razor edit uh, section. If collapsed, it applies to all, and if showing big lanes, it applies to just the area that you bring your mouse over. Parameter modulation windows. Add topmost pin for modulation windows. So this is super simple, super quick. Um, if we got a plugin, and let's say, I mean, you wouldn't do this, but let's say we want to modulate the ratio of something 
just as an example, it's just a way to bring up this window. Click on parameter modulation. We can actually pin this window and now it will stay open and it will stay on top of other windows. You know, just like you have for plugins and the mixer and other things. Now the parameter modulation window can stay on top uh, and, and be pinned. Automation. Add project setting to smooth abrupt changes, square envelope bullet points, sharp edits on volume, pan, width envelopes. Use new project setting, if enabled, for envelope smoothing for mute envelopes. Improve smoothness when looping automation items with sign or parametric LFO. So project settings, advanced, smooth, abrupt, volume, pan, width envelope changes by some amount. Um, so you could say, uh, I don't know, 1.5 milliseconds and abrupt changes will be automatically smoothed. So let's say we've got uh, a quick volume adjustment here. And I'm actually going to make this point snap right to there. I'll make this, let me just make sure it's a square envelope point. So rather than just being a, a completely abrupt change, there's going to be sort of an invisible uh, transition amount there now. Um, you'll, you'll see that in rendered waveforms, but you're not going to see that in the project. And so that is controlled by this amount here. We can set it up to 100 milliseconds. But generally we want to have this as a fairly low number so that the envelope is doing basically what you see. But uh, it can be helpful to reduce pops and things like that from quick changes um, by setting a small number here. I don't have any sort of preference for what that should be. Yeah, if that's something that you're looking for, that is now an option. For regions, add actions to set loop points to current, previous, or next region. Region manager, support setting tracks to render as mono, stereo, or multi-channel. Let's just put in a couple markers here, kind of at random points, uh, or sorry, regions. And let's expand our region lanes right there. Um, so you can see that there's three different regions. So if we go into the action list, if we search for region and loop, we've got set loop points to current region. I can run that. And so that's one for the full song. Set points to next region. And so that's region number two. Run this one again. So it's going to number three. Right. And then we can go back to the previous one with this action. This can be really useful for um, loop recording and things like that. I've, I've previously set up custom actions for this sort of thing um, for use with a foot controller. So having these built in and working well, that's great. Now the last thing for regions is in Region Marker Manager. If we have our Region Marker Manager ex, uh, expanded enough to have the render track list function here, double click here, bring up the menu, render only select a track, force number of channels, mono, stereo, or multi-channel. So we can force this render to be mono, stereo, or multiple channels, uh, regardless of what they actually are. And that's about it for this update. Um, hopefully that has been helpful. As always, read the change log, check the user guide. Um, there are, there's always little things, little tips and tricks that you can find from those as well. So hopefully this has been helpful. And also there's a SWS update this week, and it is now available through Repack. I will try to get a video out in the next couple days about doing that. Uh, it's actually super easy. Installation of extensions on Mac has especially gotten easier, but it's it's awesome to be able to have uh, SWS updated uh, frequently and included with Repack. Basically, what one, two click install and updates. It's awesome. Uh, so that's it. Hope you're doing well. Watch another video. Click here. See you later.